Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Maths key skill video on solving a linear equation with unknowns on both sides and a fraction. So we've got this equation here we want to solve and to solve means we want to find the value of x. And the complicating factor here is we've got this fraction here. And my general principle with solving equations is that we want to get everything out into the open first and that means to get rid of brackets, to get rid of fractions. And the way we can get rid of this fraction is to just multiply through by whatever the denominator is. So let me just write that down. If you have a fraction of the equation, multiply both sides of the equation by the fraction's denominator. So, what's the denominator of this fraction? Well, it's 3. So therefore, we want to multiply both sides of this equation by 3. Everything on the left by 3, everything on the right by 3. Now, if we multiply the left-hand side by 3, then multiplying this fraction by 3 just gets rid of the over 3, and we're left with 2x plus 1. A mistake that a lot of students make is that they multiply by 3 to get rid of the 3, but then they multiply by 3 again and say that it's 6x plus 3. But multiplying by 3 just gets rid of that over 3. It doesn't times by 3 again. And then don't forget to times that minus 4 by 3 as well, and that's another common mistake that students make. On the right-hand side, multiply each of these things by 3. 8 times 3 is 24. And then minus x times 3 is minus 3x. And now we've got a much simpler equation. Now, if we've got lots of terms on the left-hand side or the right-hand side, I would tidy up first. And you can see we've got like terms. The 1 minus 12 we can simplify a bit because 1 subtracts 12 is minus 11. And that just makes it a bit simpler again. Now, in a previous video, we saw that if we've got the unknown on both sides of the equation, we collect the x terms on the side with more x's. So 2x is bigger than minus 3x, 2 is bigger than minus 3, and therefore we want to get the x terms on the left-hand side of the equation where there's more x's. So we therefore want to get rid of that minus 3x, and the way we get rid of that subtract 3x is to do the opposite. We add 3x. And remember, whatever we do to the left-hand side, we have to do to the right-hand side to balance it out. So 2x plus the 3x is 5x. Still got that minus 11. Still got that 24. But we've added 3x to the right-hand side, which cancels out the minus 3x. So we're just left with the 24. At this stage, it gets simpler. x has been multiplied by 5, then we subtracted 11. So remember, we undo the last thing that happened to x. So we undo the minus 11 by adding 11 to both sides. On the left-hand side, the plus 11 just gets rid of the minus 11, leaving 5x. And 24 plus 11 on the right-hand side is 35. Then finally, where well, x has been multiplied by 5, we want to undo the times by 5, so we therefore divide both sides by 5. That gets rid of the times by 5, leaving just x. 35 divided by 5 is equal to 7.